Hello, Mr. Smith. Hi. Hi, Hi. my name's Dr. Ahmed. I'm one of the FY2 doctors here at the practice. Um, can you just confirm your full name and your date of birth for me, please? Uh, yes, it's Andrew Smith, 15th of March, 1960. Okay, thank you. Um, right, um, how can I help? Um, I've just, yeah, I've just been asked by my wife to come and uh, have a chat with you about some breathlessness that I've been getting. Okay, so tell me a bit more about that. Um, so, so I've been getting some shortness of breath when I'm walking, mm -hmm. um, usually when I'm going up hills. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it just gets me to uh, slow down and stop and, mm -hmm. until it goes away mm -hmm. and then I can start going again. So how long has this been going on for? I'd say about six to twelve months maybe. Okay. And do you feel that your symptoms are getting worse or are they much the same? I, I think they're about the same. Okay. They haven't really changed. Okay. And any other associated symptoms with the breathlessness? Yeah, now that you mentioned that, I thought maybe it was a bit of indigestion or something. I, I can feel a bit of discomfort in sort of the okay. middle of the chest with it. Okay. All right. So how long does that last then? Again, once it, it comes on when I'm walking, it, it doesn't stop mm -hmm. until I stop walking. Mm -hmm. So once I rest, it takes about five minutes. And then, then that's that's that. And how far can you walk before the symptoms start? Oh, I can walk... Um, 50 yards. Maybe. Okay. Okay. And um, is there anything that makes the pain better? Um, resting is, mm -hmm. I found, the best thing. Mm -hmm. But once or twice I've had my spray, luckily, mm -hmm. with me, and I tried that under, under the tongue. Is that your GTN spray? I think so, yeah. yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. the one that you'd spray twice yeah. every time. Yeah. And, and that made the pain go away more quickly. Okay. And so, how long would you say it lasts? Or what? I'd say probably kind of by about half to so maybe two, a yeah. couple of minutes. A few minutes. minutes. Yeah. Okay. And if you didn't use your spray, it'd be a bit longer. A bit longer. Yeah. So how long would you say? Like I said, maybe about five. Five minutes. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, uh, if you had to rate the pain out of ten, with zero being no pain and ten being the worst pain you've ever experienced, where would you say this pain is on that scale? Um, I'd say probably a five or a six. Mm, okay. Um, and does the pain itself uh, move anywhere at all? Um, no, no, it just stays, stays in the middle of my chest. Yeah. And do you feel sweaty or clammy at the time? Yeah, now that you mention it, yeah, a little bit, a little bit sweaty with okay. the pain. Okay. Um, and I just want to go through uh, some of your previous medical history. Now, you, I can see from here you've had an heart attack. Was that ten years ago? Yes. Yeah. Any other medical problems at all? Uh, no, uh, well, well, high blood pressure, yeah. I think, and cholesterol. Yeah. Sure. Um, and have you had any surgery in the past? Uh, only when I had the heart attack, mm. they put something in here and yeah. to have a look at the heart. Okay. Yeah. Um, but nothing else? No. Okay, right. Um, and medication-wise, so we've got a list of your medication here. Mm -hmm. So I can see you on aspirin, isoprolol, um, simvastatin, and... Uh, Yes, and Ramipro. Is yeah. that right? Are you taking any over the counter medications at all? No. No? No. Um, and do you smoke? Uh, no, I used to. I uh, quit about five years ago. Now. And do you drink much alcohol? Only on special occasions. Okay. Yeah. You, you mentioned you used to smoke. Did you smoke heavily? or? Um, yeah, about 20 a day, mm. about a pack a day, yeah. Uh, for how long? Oh, I would have been about. 16 when I started. Mm. I started five years ago, so I've been 55. Okay, so a few years. Um, and are you allergic to any medications? Not as far as I'm aware. Okay. Okay. And can I ask what you do for a living? Yes, uh, I work in uh, the finance sector. Okay. So office based job. Okay, and um, who do you live with at home? I'm a wife. Okay. Now, um, what I would like to do is examine you, if that's okay. Yeah. So yeah. What I'd like to do is examine your chest. Check your blood pressure, your heart rate, and your oxygen levels as well. Right, so um, I'm pleased to say, uh, Mr. Smith, that your examination is normal. Your chest is clear, your heart sounds are normal, yeah. uh, your blood pressure is absolutely fine. Oh, good. Your, your, your heart rates, uh, and your, um, your oxygen levels, your heart rate, your your blood pressure, your, your heart sounds, all, all okay. Mm -hmm. um, and I couldn't see any swelling in your legs either, which again is a, uh, is, 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 is a good sign. Okay. Um, so
So in terms of what I think is going on, I think that um, what you may be suffering from is something called angina. Oh right, okay. Do you know, have you heard that term before? Yeah, I have. No, yeah, I, I thought that, that having the camera thing and having all these tablets mm. killed that. No, yeah. I didn't have any tablets. Well, was there anything that you thought it, it may have been today other than angina? What did you think it I thought maybe been? just a bit unfit. And mm. a bit of heartburn and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, I, I didn't think it'd be mm. as bad. Oh, gosh. Well, was there anything that was worrying you before you came in today? Uh, no, I think mm. I think my wife was more worried than mm. I was. She she thought there was maybe something else going on. I just thought there was nothing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so angina is is essentially a narrowing of the blood vessels leading through the heart. Okay. Okay. So the heart itself is a muscle muscle that's always pumping and when you're exerting yourself so when you're going uphill or when you're um, uh, going up the stairs or, or walking fast that muscle needs more nutrients it needs more oxygen okay and over time if there's a narrowing in, in, in those arteries that supply the heart yeah you can find that that um, the, the blood supply that isn't uh, so, or the nutrients that are required for the heart essentially don't get to the heart as much as the, the heart requires. So right. that can cause some of the discomfort that you're experiencing. Oh gosh. Um, so I think what we should do is a, a number of things. Um, the first thing is that it can start you on a medication to help open up those blood vessels to your heart. Mm -hmm. And those will help just, you take a tablet every day and that will help with just opening up the blood so you don't experience those symptoms. Um, some of the side effects of this medication is called a nitrate. Okay. Um, so some of the si side effects can be that you might feel a bit lightheaded. Right. Um, so just bear in mind that you know that, that this might occur, and perhaps take the medication um, when you're not operating machinery or you, you know you're not driving or anything like that. Okay. The second thing is um, uh, I'm going to refer you urgently to the cardiologist. Right. Okay. So. Um, oh, you should get an appointment for them to uh, see you in clinic soon. And the third thing is, I think we should uh, arrange a, a chest X-ray because you've been smoking in the past. Yeah. Just to make sure it's, there's nothing going on with respect to your lungs. Sure. Okay. okay. So any questions with respect to what I've said so far? No. Sounds sounds like a lot of stuff mm. that needs to be done. And can I just ask if your symptoms ever occurred when you've been driving? And do you drive? I do drive, yeah. uh, no, no, and it's I think because I'm sitting down. Um, I don't think I've ever had this okay. when I'm sitting down. Sure. Um, I have to say also that um, if you ever experience this pain and it doesn't go away after five minutes or after you use your TTN spray, uh, or if the pain's a lot more intense and severe, and severe, then you must call 999. Okay, because it's really okay. urgent that you know you, you, you get help um, quickly if you experience severe pain and especially symptoms similar to what you might have had previously when you had a heart attack. Sure. Okay. Um, or if you notice that your symptoms are getting more frequent, so the distance that you're able to travel or walk and exercise is is, is getting less and less. Okay. Okay. Is that is that all right? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So. Um, I'll call you in two weeks' time to see how you're getting on with the new medication. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.